<laughs> this seems like a bad idea. There's a needle on top of the space needle, and I'm in a blimp. <laughs> Easy does it, Pedro. All right, drop it down. Drop it down. That's good. Perfect. Yes, it worked. We did it. We landed on the space needle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Unturn. Today we're going to take a look at the latest update that just landed on Steam moments ago. Maybe like 30 minutes ago, no word of a lie. I am right on top of this today. We don't need Nate Lever, we've got P. Rizzo waiting in the wings here to show you what's new in this update. And it is version 3.21.5.0. It just came out, like I said, moments ago. It's December 1st. Wait a second, December 1st? What the heck happened in November? Wow, that was fast. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is what's new. Blimps, check it out. So it looks like you can find Blimps anchored at Kent Raceway in Washington, ready to spectate the race. Amazing. And we even have Pedro Rizzo down there right now at the Kent Raceway, in fact, with his little pilot cap. And he's, uh, he's going to show us a new blimp. So why don't we go down there and meet him? Let's go before he takes off and, uh, on some other new business venture. So here we go, down to Washington. <laughs> Good afternoon, race fans, and welcome to the Kent Raceway here in sunny Washington. My name is Pedro Rizzo, but my friends call me P. Rizzo, just like the back of the shirt says, though you can't see it from down there. <laughs> and no, it's not a prisoner outfit. I know it resembles one, but I am not an escaped convict. I am a professional commentator of races and uh, among other things. So make sure you sit back and relax and buy lots of expensive toys and beverage and, and snacks because I get a piece of the action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So anyway, guys, let's go. Uh, let's get inside here with Pedro Rizzo. Pedro, I think you better bring it down there, buddy. P. Rizzo, bring it down. Let's bring that blimp down. This is where I found this, by the way, guys. This is the blimp. And I just don't want to run out of gas. So we're just going to drop it down right here in the grass. This is where Pedro found it. Whoops. And guess what? We're on the roof. We are on the top of the blimp. And that is by design. Apparently, Nelson wants you to exit up on top of the roof so that you can build a base. And you can see here that I've got a few things already placed down. So yes, indeed, you can build a base on top of the blimp. That is going to be amazing. Now, the problem is getting back down into the blimp. See, I can't. I can't. Even though I'm pressing E, you cannot enter the blimp from up top. Ooh, better shut that off. Um, but you have to, uh, so you have to jump down as long as you have a, uh, an umbrella or if you have a convenient ladder like I built right here then you can get your butt back down. My guess is that is a bug and it will be fixed. So for now, we just have to deal with that. Ah, I saw that coming, I missed everything. I missed the parachute and I missed the ladder. Perfect. Anyway, check this thing out. It is absolutely amazing. So it is an epic uh, vehicle, which means it's gonna be super rare and it did take me about, I'm gonna guess about 16 to 18 uh, reloads to get this thing to spawn here and this is exactly where it spawned right here in the middle of the raceway and according to Nelson and the uh, the changelog notes this is the only place that it spawns at least at the time of this recording that may change in the future but uh, yeah it was right here in the grass in the middle of the raceway just as is well not as is obviously I added a few things to it it is also subject to the same vehicle rules which means it, uh, it may come in in a damaged state or missing things like this one did have a battery but it was drained it did not have any gas and it was damaged but I fixed it up and it is uh, it's pretty tough by the way you can't do any damage to it with normal weapons you have to use uh, high-powered weaponry like the grizzly so this will actually damage it I already tested it 10% per shot, but uh, it's tough. It's tough just like the military vehicle. So you have to have a high-powered rifle or explosives to blow the darn thing up. Zombies can chew through it, though. Um, but it is tough. It takes the zombies a long time to get through it. I've already tested it out. One or two zombies really aren't much of an issue. They do very little damage to it. But if you get surrounded and hoarded, they'll, uh, they'll chew through it pretty quickly. So, well, let's take it for a spin, shall we? We got the pilot seat here, and we have four passenger seats as well. Unfortunately, you cannot climb in through the window, walk around in there. I did try, and I don't know if that's going to change in the future, but uh, it would be cool if you could, so maybe you could do some building in there. Though I, I, I didn't find the building inside to be very reliable. I couldn't get anything to stick inside. We'll do a quick uh, demonstration. See, I can't get it to the floor, so it has to float around, or you put it on the seats, but then people can't sit down, right? 
But let's hop in and I'll show you all the different seats. That's obviously the pilot seat. We've got two, three, four, and five. So five people total. And again, if you exit from anywhere within the blimp, you end up on the roof. And you can't get back in from up here. Like I said, there's some kind of a bug, I think. So why don't we, uh, let's take it for a little spin. It is super fun to drive. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Actually, that's good. I wanted to be up here. I want to put some gas in it. The thing is a gas guzzler. It takes four full gas cans to fill it, to top it off. Okay, let's hop back in and let's go for a quick flight around Washington and uh, we'll see how she flies. So hop in, I'm driving. So we're gonna start it up. And if you press any of the WASD keys, you go left, right, forward, and backward, right? But the forward will press down on the gas, as will backwards. Will backwards? Yes, backwards actually accelerates. And when you take off with the control key, watch what happens. Woo! <laughs> go fly it backwards. So you use the control key for your elevation to ascend and descend, and it's a toggle. So right now I hit it once, I'm going down, I can hit it again. Again, this is the control key, and now I am rising, ascending, and when it, it will stop eventually, I think? Or does it keep going? Okay, it stops. And this is really cool, it's just gonna sit here and float in the sky, just like that. Now this is why I wish I could walk around up here inside the cab but that's not how it works. So when you exit, bam, you're up on the roof. Let's take a look. And the blimp is literally floating around up here in the, in the sky. And you can have a base up here on top of this thing. That is going to be crazy. Hey, Pedro, give us a wave. Hi. <laughs> Woohoo! can't wait to make a base up here. <laughs> Just be careful. Because if you fall, I don't know how you're going to get back up there, right? That could be a problem, couldn't it? That could be a big problem. You'd have to maybe take a helicopter over here and then jump off or an airplane of some kind. Uh, I don't know how else you'd get up here if you fall off. Because if you jump off, this thing's not going to follow you down, right? So, oh yeah, by the way, this is going to be a problem, right? I can't get back in to fly it. So, yeah, I can try my ladder, but that's not going to work. We got to get over toward the cab which is over here oh here we go oh gosh i shouldn't have done this so soon but anyway we're gonna we're gonna try to get down and i'll fly over to it with this and get in i'm in oh <laughs> i pressed the button too many times this is a bit of a trick but you can do it i did it we did it pedro all right let's go for a cruise let's go for a cruise while we have some gas like i said this thing is a gas guzzler and it's gonna chew through that gas fast Okay, we are super high, I love it. Let's see what the top speed is here. Looks like about 32 miles per hour. Now, are we dropping? I don't think so, I think we're at the uh, the same altitude. We're steady as she goes at the altitude I chose. Oh, there's a tank down there, sweet. Um, so let's see, let's just bring it down a little. I'm gonna press control, bring it down to about here, press it again, and then it rises back up again. Hmm kind of want to just get it level at a lower altitude it's gonna take a little practice I think so yeah this is pretty amazing guys we're gonna be able to build a base on this thing and you can park it up in the sky and no one's gonna be able to get to it very easily I mean they're gonna to have to use some kind of other aircraft to get up there right so you have a really really secure base up in the sky and I, I cannot wait to see the bases that people come up with over the next uh, few days, I'm sure we're going to see a ton of different crazy designs. But yeah, this is lovely. So again, we're on the Washington map right now, and Nelson said that's where it spawns, right there at the Kent Raceway. I don't know if he's going to have it spawn in other maps, but my guess is he will eventually. Maybe at um, airports, military bases, I don't know. But I can't imagine Washington's going to be the only map with the, uh, with the blimp. Let me get rid of that gooey so I can get some pictures here for screenshots let's go hover right over Seattle we'll go by the uh, the Space Needle hover right there I'll get a lovely screenshot for the thumbnail and then we'll call it quits because there really isn't much more to tell you about this thing I don't think 
I'm sure people will discover many more uses in the future. And I'll probably mess around with it a little bit myself and make a cool base here. Okay, we're in the cockpit. Is that what they call this thing? A cockpit? I guess they do. I'm trying to get right to that space needle. But don't hit it! Don't hit it! I want to get my ladder on that space needle so we can pop out of here. I'm going to have to change the view here. Oh boy, we're not even close. Alright, back down. Down, P. Rizzo. Down. That's good. This seems like a bad idea. There's a needle on top of the space needle. And I'm in a blimp. <laughs> Easy does it, Pedro! Alright, drop it down. Drop it down. That's good. Perfect! Yes! It worked! We did it! We landed on the space needle! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back up. Back up, back up. Little forward. Little forward. Alright, now back down. There we go. Bam! Oh, up, 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 up. Harder than it looks. Yes, now we're on the Seattle Space Needle with a blimp. Uh, it's a little cockeyed. Straighten it out. That's fine. All right, now I'm going to get out and hopefully this thing doesn't move. It's not, it doesn't look like it's very steady. We're up. We're out. And let me just back out a little bit and take a look. Let's get a good screenshot here for, <laughs> for the thumbnail. Oh, that's fantastic. Pedro Rizzo, can you come over here and give us a big cheesy smile? Oh, yeah, that's great. All right, I think this is uh, what we're going to call it quits. It's not going to get much better than this, I don't think. So there you go. This is the blimp added in today's update. Today being December 1st, Friday, and I got it on time. We didn't need Nate Lever this time because we're always, always a little late, right? But better Nate than Lever usually. But yeah, check that out. That is a great screenshot right there with the blimp. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Before we go, there's a couple more things I want to test. I'm actually out of the game right now. I logged out standing on top of the blimp. So I'm curious to see if I'll still be there when I log back in. This could be very important. So let's do this for science. Here we go. Yep, Pedro's here right where we left him. Good. <laughs> now, there's one more thing I want to check before we go, but this requires that we get back inside. Oh, never mind. Yeah, look at that. That's easy. Okay, just jump up and hop in. I wanted to check to see if there's any trunk space. Oh, there is. Holy smokes, there's a ton of trunk space in here. Yeah, that's fantastic. So you can put all the important blimpy things inside your trunk. So we got a spare tire, well, we don't need a spare tire, but a battery and a, uh, a parachute and maybe a blowtorch to make repairs in the sky and so forth and so on. So that's pretty awesome. I better grab that uh, parachute because that's the only one I have. And we're down to 5% gas. Holy cow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy does it. It's getting a little wobbly. All right. That's all I wanted to do. Just check those few things. Those last few things out. And yeah, we are wobbling here, aren't we? Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on, Pedro Rizzo. Grab something. Because I think it's going down. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.